Hi there, and welcome to more tutorials about ArcMap from Huxley Spatial. Uh, today we're going to show you some of the troubleshooting issues that maybe you might run into when you're working with ArcMap. So today, as you can see, we have these little red exclamation parts, uh, points here. These mean that your map cannot find the data you want it to bring up. Maps, as you may have learned, are different than something like a Word file. Maps gather up the data and draw it for you, but they don't necessarily save the data. It's not like a Photoshop file. Uh, it has to go and find the data at a different location and bring it into the map. It doesn't save the data there, but accesses that same directory every time you open that map. So in this case, it can't find that directory. One of the first things you can do to try and fix this problem is go to this. Uh, list by source here will tell you where those things originally came from, if there's any idea. Obviously, it lists something for this air image I have, but not for these individual files. So you're going to have to go and find it then. In that case, you can open up your catalog window here and go to the folder where you think the data could be. For me, it's this editing demo file. So obviously it's there, and you can click and drag and just add things anew. That's fine. For example, if I wanted to add these go routes again, I just could. I just add them again, and that's fine. But maybe I don't want to do that because I've already got my own symbology going on and I've got different things going on that I want to maintain. So in that case, what I can do is go and click on the exclamation point itself, and then I can access the uh, folder in which I think that my data is in in this case. So I go to the editing demo folder, Go routes, add, there it is. And you'll notice the rest of those marks disappeared as well. In this case, often if all of this data is in one place and you add one, it will fix it all. Uh, sometimes the problems can arise when you have uh, one thing someplace, one thing another, and three things in another place. So again, it's a really good idea to keep all of your data for a particular map consolidated and know where everything is. Organization is key for ArcMap usage. Another one, something a, uh, a lot of students run into is when you just can't find your data. This can be really, really frustrating when you expect to see data somewhere but don't. One of the first things you can do is open up your catalog tab, and I know that there's supposed to be a file here called Quick Demos, but I can't find it anywhere. First thing I'm going to do is go to the major folder in which it is, right click, and refresh. There it is, it just hadn't shown up yet. I just needed to refresh the folder in which I thought that folder was. I can also tell you that it's really frustrating sometimes when you're supposed to see a folder, a big one, with all of your data in it and you don't see it. One of the ma major things to do is to create a new folder connection. If you don't see it, just create a new one. Click that little add connection button up at the top here. That's this one here. And then go and navigate to the folder you'd like to add. In this case, I really want to add my student uh, hard drive that all students at Western Washington have. So in that case, I'm going to navigate to uh, this PC, and then there it is. There's my student drive. So I'm going to click on that, and then maybe I have a GIS folder in here I want to add, so I'm going to click that. Click OK. There it is. I now have a connection to my GIS 579 folder, and now I can access all the data in there all the data I need, so on and so forth. All right, so that's been a quick troubleshoot on how to get rid of those red exclamation marks or how to make sure you can access your data in the folder you think it is. Again, I remind you, always be organized, always keep things collected, and always remember where you put stuff. 